You're trying to capture a moment, a decisive moment. You're trying to compose it well. You're trying to tell a story. You're looking for mood and emotion and light and color. So I think in every situation it's different. In photographing President Obama, you know, I was looking for authenticity and trying to capture the, the right mood and right emotion of whatever was taking place. You're the uh, man responsible for photographing the President of the United States. Anything he does is uh, open for documentation. I think he probably has a better sense of humor than people realize. I think uh, he's, maybe people don't realize how competitive a person he is. He's very competitive. And probably the other thing is people may not see, he's a very disciplined uh, guy, disciplined about, about work, about diet, about exercise, you know, to the point where uh, it, it, make, it makes yourself feel bad in terms of uh, how disciplined he is on, on uh, how he lives his life. Knowing that you're capturing uh, history every day uh, I mean, that, that probably just in general, that was my favorite part of the job. I wasn't consciously thinking, oh, I should photograph this and not photograph that. I mean, it's kind of photographing, you know, every meeting, every event, uh, you know, kind of whatever he's doing. Intuitively, you have to decide, um, you know, maybe, maybe, there's, maybe you should give him a little bit of privacy. I mean, the, the time that comes up is if he's, having a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation with one of his daughters. You want to let him have that private conversation. You might, I might make a few pictures, but then I would just back away uh, so that he could you know, truly have a private conversation with his daughter. The story I'm trying to tell with the book is just what uh, his administration was like and what he was like as, not just as a president, but as a, as a person, as a human being. How did, how did he interact with other people? you know, trying to show maybe the side of him that people didn't see from the television cameras. Um, just those little, little moments, uh, not necessarily from uh, big events, but also, you know, just trying to include some of the important things that, that happened. I'm kind of an old school guy, so I used manual settings for aperture and f-stop. Uh, I would use autofocus, and oftentimes I would just use auto white balance, depending on where we were, a lot of times the rooms in the White House have mixed lights. The photographs we take are part of the presidential records. Uh, we, didn't, we couldn't delete any. So every single photograph that I ever took is now saved at the National Archives. And some poor soul is gonna have to go through them, you know, in 10 years or something like that. A lot of, lot of, lot of frames. So it was about 1.9 million in, uh, in eight years. Some days are like watching uh, paint dry. Um, you know, there's a lot of routineness to it. Um, but I, I always found that sometimes those were the days when, uh, you know, uh, some gem of a picture will happen th that you least expect, which is what keeps you on your toes. I mean, I, I can't choose a f any favorite picture, but there, there's some, some of my favorite pictures are happened on days when there was like really nothing going on, meaning nothing, nothing big, nothing historical. And it would just, you know, there would be this one little moment that would happen that when you at least expect it, which, like I said, that's what kept you on your toes. I was actually listening to a, uh, a NPR interview uh, with a famous author, and his advice was write one page every day. So I would say that, you know, to the aspiring photojournalists is shoot pictures every day because that's how you learn, that's how you uh, make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. To gravitate towards uh, your goal as being a White House photographer, I mean, there's so much luck involved that I, I wouldn't necessarily just set your sights on that because so many other factors come into play there's like so many photographers that are much better than me, and they didn't become White House photographers because they didn't happen to meet, you know, Barack Obama at the right time. I mean, there was so much luck involved with me being in this job. But in, in terms of trying to be a really good photojournalist, I think it's you gotta just take pictures every day, get critiqued from 
people uh, and, and learn in that, that regard.